Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and today I'm going to share this makeup look. It's natural, nothing too crazy. I like using natural earth tones, a little bit of pinks and brown tones. And I'm making this video because Angie from my Spanish channel requested this. So I'm going to translate her comment. Hi beautiful, can you make a video on how you do your makeup from zero? I love your makeup all natural i can identify myself with you and i'm so bad with doing my makeup i don't know too well thank you so angie i'm making this video for you and without talking anymore let's begin to hydrate my face i use this face cream by panier de sin which is a french company i already have this on my skin this is how it looks like and then to protect my face, I use this SPF 30 by Sunbum. 30 is the right amount to protect your skin from any sun rays or light rays too. And when you are applying any hydration lotion or SPF protection, you want to do it in this motion where you're stapling your face your skin so you make sure you are applying everything evenly and any leftovers i apply it on my hands and talking about spf i also apply this this balm by binko it has spf 15. from here i can hear my mom's dog barking her name is candy Okay, so before applying foundation, I like to apply a little bit of powder, translucent powder. And this is by Virginic. And the reason why I like it so much is because it has simple but natural ingredients. It has arrowroot powder, cacao powder, rose powder, and kaolin clay. I hope I said that right. So really basic. And if you have these ingredients, even you can make it at home. And the reason why I apply this is because it helps the foundation stay in place. So I already got my sponge wet and the foundation that I use is by NYX. And the reason why I like it is because it doesn't feel heavy. It feels lightweight and it feels like you don't have any foundation. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> The concealer that I use is this one by e.l.f. And this one I applied under my eyes and on any pimple that I might have. And what I do, I like to dab it upwards. So basically it gives you that like, like if you're awake kind of look, like your eye is bigger, it's lifted. So now moving on to powders, I use two. I'm gonna show you the other one. So the first one that I apply is this one by Milani. This is a natural. And this helps so that your skin doesn't look shiny. I just remember that I did not apply primer. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So the next one that I use is also by Milani. This is a translucent powder in banana shade number three. And the reason why I also apply this one is because if I just leave the one that I just applied, my skin will get oily, but this one helps to keep it shine free for a longer time. <coughs> so now I'm going to be using an angled brush and I'm using this by NYX. It brings a lighter shade and a darker shade for contouring. I'm going to start with the lighter shade, this one, and I apply this on my eyes. And then with a darker shade, like a three. So now for a little bit of color, I'm going to use this one by Pacifica Wild Rose. And as you can see, I'm running out, but I like to use my makeup before I get a new one. And whatever I have left over, I applied on my eyelids. Well, I'm grabbing a little bit more. It's just so that the makeup combines more with the same colors. Before I forget, I also contour my nose with the darker shade. 
So what I do, I touch the sides, but without going over the middle section. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to continue with my eye area that I like the most. So using a brush like this one, what I'm going to apply is this light pink rose and this kind of orangey tone. And this is by Pacifica Eye Palette. So now I'm going to use this brown tones and I'm just going to add a little bit of depth on the eyes. The way that I like to think how to apply this is like a V shape, kind of like the letter V for victory. So I just curve it a little here towards the top and here pull it in or like if you're pulling out. So now using a Pacifica eyeliner, I'm going to apply this on the top and bottom. So now with a black eyeliner, and as you can see, I really do use my makeup. It's so tiny. This one is black, so I'm just going to apply it on my inner eye. So I just apply this in front of my mirror because it is so hard to do this with just the mirror. And this is optional. If you want more of a natural look, I would just have left the brown eyeliner, but I just wanted to define my eyes a little bit more. So then if I'm using black eyeliner, what I like to do is apply like a shadow stick. This is by e.l.f. and this helps so that your under eye won't get black. It helps it to stay in place. It's just like a little bit of shine. And this color is between like a brown and gold. You can see it there better. Okay, so then I'm going to use this eyebrow powder, which I found on Amazon, but you can use any black color that you have. And how I apply it, I use on an eyebrow stencil. So I just put it on my skin and I start filling it in. To me, this is so easy instead of just doing it freehand. I thought I was recording. I'm gonna show you guys on the other side. And with an eyelash brush, then I'm just going to soften the color a little bit. So you're just lightly brushing this. I'm going to curl my lashes. And I use this mascara by CoverGirl Exhibitionist. X he X he Exhibitionist. I hope I'm saying that right. Hmm. And as I'm applying this, I also turn the wand and any leftovers I applied on my bottom lash. <laughs> so for my lips, I'm going to use this one by Milani in the shade I Am Smart. And I really love this shade because it's between like a pink and kind of brown color, but it's so natural. I love it. And the last thing I do, I like to spray on myself rose water. This smells wonderful. And the reason why I put this is because like it makes me so happy and it also helps the makeup stay in place. <sighs> it smells so good. <laughs> So this is the final look, nothing crazy. I love using natural earth tones that are more like in the pink and brown shade. And thank you to Angie, that's my Spanish channel. She requested this video, but you guys can leave me any greetings or anything that you want to see. If you want to see more makeup or maybe more outfits or maybe vegan food like recipes, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, you can subscribe to my channel. And you can find me on all social media accounts with the same name, Lynn Sire. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kisses. Bye.